am so delighted to welcome you to this episode of today's message. My name is Adeku Adebi Ebenezer. I'm so happy you are here to listen to today's message. Alright, so in church today, the Lord spoke through his servant, Pastor Gio Omani, and the message is titled, Waiting on God. This message is so relevant to what is happening to so many Christians of today, most especially the ones that are growing in faith, the ones who are eagerly expecting things from God. Would God not answer me again? What is delaying God from giving me what I'm asking of him? We read of Daniel and Daniel prayed. On the first day he prayed, God answered his prayer. For the powers of the Martians we laid the prayer request of Daniel. But we see that Daniel did not stop praying. He continued praying. After 21 days, or only 21 days, God needs to arise and send another angel, Angel Michael, to go and help the already sent angel so that the answers to Daniel's uh, prayers would be delivered. Faithful is our God, waiting on God. Waiting on God is not easy. It is not funny. It is not a child's play. It is for matured Christians. <laughs> waiting on God. I know what you are waiting on God for, beloved. But based on the message of today, wait on Him. Because waiters on God never waste. Take note. I said, waiters on God, on God never waste. You can wait on man and waste. But when you wait on God, you can never waste. Meaning that God will surely come and deliver your prayers your answers prayers into your hands. Again, waiting on God is not for child, it's not for children, and it's not a child's play. It is for grown ones. It takes a matured Christian to wait on God. Here is the challenge. It is grow in the knowledge of God. Grow in Christ. Grow in prayers. Grow in your relationship and intimacy. I would like to open a scripture to you and that is the book of Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12. The scripture says that ye be not slothful but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. God is not a man that should lie or the son of man that should change his mind as he promised to he will surely be it. Wait on him. What you and I need is the grace. Grace. Grace to wait. Grace to hold on. Sarah couldn't wait. Hence, he moved on his own thoughts, on his own mindset. Giving unto Abraham a slave. And do you know the consequences? When we jump out of the waiting room, there are consequences to be faced. We are facing those consequences now. The consequences of the mistake of Sarah. Beloved, waiting on God is not easy, like I said, but it pays to wait on God. It is my prayer that the Lord will give unto us the grace to wait patiently, to wait eagerly, to wait expectantly, to wait in prayers on God, so that that which we desire from Him or we want from Him and where He's taking us to, He will get us there. Thank you so very much. I want to believe that you have been inspired in this word of mine today. I want you to take along this word as you journey through this weekend. Wait as ever wait. Are you waiting on God or you are waiting on God? Please, I challenge you and I counsel you. Wait on God. Hebrew says strength. Who through faith and patience inherit their promises. It is only those that wait. It's only those that persevere that will be raised the promise. Thank you, God.
Peace.